Welcome to our module on the acquisition of CT images. We hope that you will take away some valuable information as you progress through this module. After completion of this module, you will be able to understand the process of data acquisition, discuss acquisition modes and parameters, and define CT dose index or CTDI. Please remember these as you progress through the module. The formation of CT images involves many steps. Data acquisition is the first of these steps. The term data acquisition refers to the collection of measurements of x-ray transmission from the patient. After these x-rays have passed through the patient, they land onto special electronic detectors which measure attenuation values. Enough of these data must be recorded to meet the requirements of the reconstruction process being used. We will begin this module by talking about acquisition modes. These include Scout View or Topogram, SFOV and DFOV, Conventional Acquisition and Heliacal Acquisition. Let's start by looking at the objectives and then look at these processes. Three main methods will be explained in detail. Minimal intensity projection, average intensity projection, and maximum intensity projection. A scout image is a low-dose digital radiograph formed from a linear scan and taken as the table moves through the gantry with the x-ray tube stationary. For example, at zero degrees or at 90 degrees. When you hit the play button, you will see how this occurs. Using information from an initial scout view, the scan MA value is individually adjusted depending on the position for each tube rotation. An enhanced version of MA modulation available on some scanners allows MA adjustment not only for each rotation, but also as a function of angle during each rotation. Any vertical or horizontal deviation in patient centering with respect to gantry isocenter, which is the point in space through which the central rays of the radiation beams pass, leads to overestimation or underestimation of attenuation. This can result in erroneous estimation of tube current with the automatic exposure control technique. This shows an example of very low centering with an MAS underestimation. This shows us an example of a very high centering with a resultant MAS overestimation. The scout view allows the visualization of the displayed field of view, or DFOV, and the adjustment of the dose according to the patient's anatomy. The scanned field of view, SFOV, is the diameter of the circular region within the scanned plane over which projection data is collected. It is nominally equal to the diameter of the primary beam in the axial plane. This is chosen by the technologists and depends on the anatomy that is being studied. 
Display field of view, or DFOV, can be equal to or less than the scanned field of view. Display field of view determines how much of the scanned field of view is reconstructed into an actual image. Before the introduction of spiral CT, the CT scan consisted of a rotation around a stationary object followed by the translocation of the patient by one slice thickness. This scan mode is called conventional or step and shoot CT. With a slice to slice scan, the table does not move during the acquisition. Therefore, you get an acquisition, then table movement, then acquisition, then table movement, until the desired length of anatomy is covered. With heliacal scanning, the table moves with the patient continuously through the gantry as the X-ray tube detector assembly continuously rotates. Thanks for watching. To purchase the full course and earn your CE credits, click on the link in the description or head on over to our website at www.medical-professionals.com. And while you're there, check out our All Access Pass, where you can get unlimited CE credits for your state and ARRT renewal for just $49.99. We also offer a host of free resources to make it easier than ever for radiologic technologists like you to achieve excellence. Check out our free radiology CE webinars, clinical reference guides, and free CE courses on our website today. Be more than just certified. Choose medical professionals.